Okay. All right, guys, so we're about halfway through our Animal Crossing stream for tonight. I hope you guys are enjoying it. Uh, I'm having fun. There's a lot of stuff. Look at this. I'm grabbing all these star fragments that are on the beach, right? Oh, shit. I did it again. Oh, now I missed that. Yep. Look at that bottle. Why is that bottle colored? Look at that. Egg message bottle? What is this? Here's an egg recipe present just for wonderful old you. What kind of recipe could it be? What will it make? It could be a skibbity mystery. Really? Bunny Day Merry Balloons. Okay. Very nice. Oh, wait. Oh. Have a nice DIY. So, I collected 100 DIY recipes, which gave me 1,000 Nook Miles. That is freaking awesome, dude. That is freaking awesome. Alright. What else do we have? What is this now? This is supposed to be Chop's House. I got that one. Yeah, this is supposed to be Chop's House, but Chop's isn't home. So, I don't know what his house looks like. I think I'm going to fish a bit and maybe walk around a bit looking for other... Th oh, shit. Looking for other things, but, uh... You know, I, I want to try to get the 9,000 to complete the suspension bridge if I can. Anything else over here? No, I think that's about it. Oh, here's another star fragment. Damn, there's a ton of them. Oh, let's see here. Seal Cat to me 420. It says, Happy Birthday, Phil. And have a good stream. Cool cat. Thank you very much, Sail Cat, for a $4.20 tip. Okay, we're at $164 in tips tonight, guys. Thank you so much for the support. Remember, if we double the tip total, which means if we get $200, I will put on the cowboy hat. Earlier today, I put on the cowboy hat for half the stream. I couldn't do it for the second half because it was so goddamn hot in my office. And I couldn't hear the game Resident Evil, which you kind of need to hear to survive. But tonight, it's cool. It's relaxed. I definitely would be able to keep put the cowboy hat on. For the stream tonight, if we did double the tips call, so. Alright. Shit. Another egg. Zephyr is curious, the game would be better if animals were part of some devil worshipping cult? No, it would not be. Oh, if I make good use of the egg pattering, I got new DIY recipe ideas? He did? <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> There's those large corporate boxes. There's the Merry Day Balloons. Oh, look at this. Earth Egg Shell, Earth Egg Outfit, and the Earth Egg Shoes. So apparently once you collect a certain amount of each kind of egg, then you automatically learn blueprints for things with those eggs. That is pretty cool. <clears throat> All right. Hey there, babe. Says it sucks I had to work on my birthday. No worries. See, the thing is, tomorrow's my day off anyway. So tomorrow... Besides grocery shopping and having to go out and get food for Jasper, outside of that, I'm going to be spending the whole day with my wife, so it's not that big of a deal that I had to to, uh, to work today. Pulp, pulp Bits. Give me $5. You leave eggs. It's happy birthday. Greets. Thank you very much, Pulp Bits, for a $5 tip. And uh, thank you very much for the birthday wish. I appreciate that. Dude, what is it with the shooting stars tonight? Do you hear how many are coming down as I'm running around here? Look. Look at that. There's a million shooting stars tonight. Yeah. All right. I think... I'm. Oh, my God. I think I'm going to begin to fish. Let's do some fishing. Remember, I'm trying to raise around 9,000 tonight in order to finish the suspension bridge. There we go. What is that thing? Is that a loach? It's looking at me with reproach. The ro the loach of reproach. Oh, uh, Derek, I really liked the surprise birthday party in Animal Crossing. That was fun. That was really neat. And I, I, I wish a lot of games would do silly stuff like that. And it was short and sweet. But you got some cool items for it, too. That's really nice. Especially if this is a game we spend a lot of time in. You probably want to be able to, like, do a little bit of, like, celebration with your virtual friends in the game, right? So that's kind of neat. Another earth egg. Yep. God damn it. 
so book bastard to me a dollar thirty says did I hear a meme that I'm a Satanist? Of course, I'm sure, dude. Of course, I mean, it's, there's memes of everything. There's memes that I'm absolutely everything possible bad. So people said Satanism is bad, and therefore I must be it, right? <laughs> there you go. It's that silly. It's that. It's that simple and silly. Oh, it's a package. Oh shit. There we go. Sweetheart dress. That I will not be putting that one on. PW does say I missed a tip. Uh, well, I see. Oh my god, I missed a lot of tips. How did I miss all these tips? So, Dr. Mark tipped me three dollars. I've been a fan of yours since 2012. Wanted to pop on, wish you a happy birthday, and say keep up the good work. Thank you, Dr. Mark, for a three dollar tip. Um, Basketball American tipped me a dollar and said, as a fellow basketball American, who's your favorite b ball player? I don't have one. Tom Nook fan tipped me a dollar and said, the cardboard boxes for the quest where Tom Nook takes, takes your house. What? I don't know about that. Um, so that's five. That's another five dollars of tips. Yeah, I missed a bunch of tips there. I don't know how I missed all those. All right. Thank you for $175 of tips and growing, guys. We've almost hit the tier two tips goal for the night. Thank you. All right. Um, more of this, huh? Yep. No. Oh, I had the slingshot in my hand. All right. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some fishing. See what I can do. get fishing. Maybe I can get some good fish. And I can trade them in for some good money. No. There we go. Looks like a big fish. Got it. Oh, God. Oh! Look at this thing. An olive flounder. That's not the pits. Get it? Olive pits? That thing's giant. Is that a new one? Olive flounder. No, it's already... Okay, it's already at the museum. That's good because I want to sell it. That's very good. <laughs> Derek says, Speaking of the homemade cake that my mom made for me in the game, did my mom ever used to make me real birthday homemade cakes, you know, back then? Yeah, when I was a kid, sometimes she would make a cake and sometimes she would buy a cake. Like I said, she would get the Italian cakes. I already mentioned it on this stream, the Italian-style sponge and pudding cakes that she would get for uh, for birthday. Oh! Oh, Phil, um, I just wanted to make sure to thank you. They say you've been trying to get KK to notice our island, so he'll come perform here, Toasty. I'm grateful to you for trying to make this happen. Between you and me, I think I might be the biggest KK fan on the island. Oh, really? Actually, I have something right here that might help. Oh! What's that? I thought maybe you could use my cypress plant for your big profit promotion, I mean. Really? I want to see what it is. Oh, that's a, that's a nice plant. I like that. I'll have to tell Cat about that and see if she wants to try to decorate the island with that and find a nice place for it. To give it a look. Whoa, what's it? Wait a minute. Oh, I thought it was a new bridge. It's not. It's just freaking... <laughs> it's the dock. W Day Day Cheers said, Tom Nook sounds like an axe murderer's name. Well, if you say so. Dude, there's like an endless amount of shooting stars here tonight. This is like the shooting star of Palooza. Look how many. Alright, I gotta find more fish. Here's one. Shit. Oh, come on. That one landed on its head. For the love of God, stop moving. Finally. Better be worth it. Better be a good fish. Oh, it's a squid. I said I had an inkling I might. Did I ever catch a squid before? 
I know Cat has caught squid. She told me about it. I must have too. A squid. All right. I have a squid and that flounder thing to, to sell. Viewer took me five dollars. He said, "Happy birthday, Phil! I hope the day really delivered." I mean, the day was pretty good, man. We had a lot of fun in Resident Evil Three, even though there was rage. I got further in the game. We had a good stream. I'm enjoying my Animal Crossing birthday stream. Everything's good here, man. Great day. Thank you guys for joining me all day today. Crab Cop, good evening. Good to see you. Stoic Apache, hello. Good evening. Good to see you. Shook once also took me a five dollars and says, "Hey, happy B day, Phil. I've been a fan since you left for dead. No mercy playthrough. Wow, that was a long time ago. I'm glad this little streak is bringing you out for your positivity, and I can see this keep on going. Cheers. Thank you very much." Uh, shook once. I appreciate that. We are only fifteen dollars away from the tier two tips goal tonight, guys. Thank you. All right, let's keep looking for more fish to sell. Ha ha! Look at this. Oh no! <laughs> I blew it. I was on a streak of catching a fish every time and I freaking blew it. That sucked. Does the fish see it? Oh! Nice! Another good fish. What's this one? This is a black bass. The most middle of all fish. Get it? Black bass, black mass. Oh, the package is way far away. I'll never catch it. I'm almost gonna feel like I'll let all the packages go tonight because I want to I want a fish to try to raise money. Yeah, yeah, that fish is way too far away. Uh, no, I wanted to pull. Maybe doing it this way? Okay, hold on. Good. No, he doesn't see it? Really? Aw, oh, shit. Okay, this way. He's definitely gonna see that. Yes. Yes. That was a will-defined fish. Very dark. What the hell is that? A tire? <laughs> yeah, I'm sure the tire, the tire bit the the uh, the uh, the bait. Sure it did. Okay. Oh, uh, shout out to Soggy Mini Muffins who took me ten dollars. Thank you very much, Soggy Mini Muffins. They said happy birthday. Hope you're doing great on your birthday. The following says I was a kid during the fall three days. Great to see you're all strong. Especially with all chaos going on in the world. Keep on keeping on. You as well. Thank you very much, Soggy Mini Muffins. I appreciate that. And Venusaur, uh, eighty-seven to me, dollar thirty. I said, do you think Animal Crossing is for artistic people, much like Minecraft? No. That is very, very fucked up that you would say that. And you're an asshole, individual, for even insinuating that people can't have fun with a cute and simple game like this. So screw off. By the way, we're now at $196 in tips. Thank you guys very much. I have a stupid old tire now in my inventory. The old tire could be repurposed. I got a new DIY recipe. Ah. A tire stack? Wow. <laughs> Okay. Oh shit. No, he didn't say artistic, he said autistic. He was trying to, to basically say that you're autistic if you like a game like Animal Crossing or Minecraft, which is fucking insulting to a lot of people. So. Oh, no. It doesn't see that? It's right in front of its face. There we go. There we go. Another black bass. Yep. Ladies and gentlemen, a viewer just hit me $4. And that means it is time for the cowboy hat. Because we have doubled the tip skull for the night. I thank you guys very much for that. Thank you for being awesome and positive on my birthday. Let's get the cowboy hat, shall we? For the rest of the stream. I'm pretty thirsty. I ran out of water. 
All right. Here's what we're going to do. Give me like a minute. I'm going to run downstairs and get more water. And then I'm going to get my cowboy hat. Give me a minute because I'm very thirsty. I want to get more water. One sec. All right, I just got water from the faucet. I don't want to go all the way downstairs. Hold on, let me get the hat. I should put this on first, huh? I gotta pump the volume. There we go. Now I can actually hear it. Good. Nice relaxing water. All right, I'm back. Here we go. <laughs> oh my god, excuse me. Woo! That's right, this game really does not require surround sound at all. Haha. <laughs> This is a game that it's okay to wear the headphones like this. Unlike Resident Evil 3, where it was a pain in the ass earlier today. <clears throat> okay. Let's see what we got? Oh, come on. I need stuff to sell. I need real fish, not tin cans and, <clears throat> and tires right now. Come on. Wait, now the empty can can be repurposed. Look at this. I got another DIY recipe. What is this now? Recycled canned thumb piano, wood and iron nugget, and empty... What in the hell is a thumb piano? I've never heard of that in my entire life. Froggins just did a 420-bit cheer, and he says, Happy birthday. Isn't your wedding anniversary also coming up? Wish you and Kat a good one, and Jasper's birthday too. Uh, yeah, our wedding anniversary is April 10th, which is four days from now, but sadly, we both have to work. Like, Kat will be at work, I have to be at work, so... If, if this were a normal world right now, okay, and if everything weren't so crazy with the world being in lockdown because of this worldwide pandemic, we were going to make special arrangements. We had an idea of a place we wanted to go to dinner and dress up and have a nice day out. And obviously, it's just not possible. For Sadly, our first wedding anniversary is just going to be a normal day, which sucks. We didn't get to go on a honeymoon. We don't get a wedding anniversary. That's just life, though, right? That's just life. You, you deal with it. For me, my, my philosophy these days is you take the positives where you can get them. Life isn't perfect. And, you know, as long as you can enjoy the things that are positive in life, don't focus on the things that are negative, right? So I get to spend a lot of, uh, you know, a good day with my wife tomorrow. We get to have a nice relaxing day. Is it on my birthday? No. Is it on our wedding anniversary? No. But at least I get the day with her tomorrow. So I'm going to enjoy that to its fullest. And I'm not going to sit here and dwell on the fact that because this crazy once-in-a-lifetime insane thing has happened to the world that now we can't spend our wedding anniversary as a special day together. You know, what am I going to do? I'm not going to do... Uh, nothing we can do about it. Why am I going to be sad or, or gloomy or pissed off about that? You know, no one can hurt, help that. There's a lot of other people in the world who are the same, you know, all these crazy things are happening. And I'm just grateful that I'm, that I'm, I'm healthy, I'm able to work that my wife is healthy, that we get to spend a day tomorrow. That's, you know, I'm going to try to focus on the positives, right? I'm not going to sit here and be a negative jerk, so. Viewer tipped me a dollar thirty. said, when is the next special event? Uh, I'm not sure what you mean by that, viewer. If you mean like a marathon or whatever, I currently don't have anything planned. Right now, people are voting on the viewer's choice playthroughs, which is two game playthroughs that are going to be starting in the second half of April um that are going to be full game playthroughs that the viewers choose right now i think there's nine games in the running on my forums at kingofhate.com that people can vote on um that would be considered the, i guess the next special event what wow i, I missed it somehow <clears throat> yeah that would be considered the next special event i guess but there's no marathon or anything currently in the works uh this one in particular you may have noticed 
that I have quite a lot of subs, right? Uh, the reason I have so many subs is because at the very end of March, there was a lot of subscriber gifting on the channel because people wanted to see two viewer's choice playthroughs and we had a sub gold reach to, for that to happen. And when we did, basically subs increased by 75 subs by, that were gifted on like the last day of March. So because of that, I knew if I tried to do a subscriber goal for this month, it would not be realistic because we have those artificially inflated subs. The last thing I wanted to say was, oh, let's do a sub goal for April, you know, 800 subs. And the next thing you know, all the gifted subs expire and it's like over 100 subs to reach that goal. It's completely unrealistic. I didn't want that to happen. So I completely forewent doing a sub goal this month and I'm not doing a sub goal this month because of that, okay? Now, what I may do is a subscriber goal in May. If we hit the goal, then maybe we'll do a marathon or something like that. But for now, I really have no special events planned or anything else. Oh, shit. <clears throat> My inventory is actually full. Oh, man. You know what it is? All these shirts. Yeah, all right. You know what? I'm pretty sure the loach is not going to be worth much, so we'll toss it back. Let's go back to my house, and let's let's put some stuff in inventory. Let's sell the fish we have, and let's continue fishing. Because I definitely want to try to raise the 9,000 so that I can build the bridge tonight and get that in process, okay? <clears throat> okay. How many nook vials do I have? Asked Popsicolo. I think it was like 7,000. How do you see that? 7,900. Good amount. Okay, let's put stuff in inventory. Let's get rid of the sweet shirt or sweetheart dress. Let's get rid of the collarless shirt. Let's get rid of this friggin' disgusting old tire and the tin can. <clears throat> and we can put away all these star fragments. All right. Oh, and the cypress plant. So what I should do now, go sell all these fish. Oh, I also have a fossil I can appraise. Let's appraise the fossil. Let's sell the fish. And then we'll continue on. Yes, Derek, I will still be doing SpongeBob when the new version, you know, the, re the remake or remaster releases later this year, whenever that may be, because it still doesn't have a release date. <clears throat> to my knowledge, anyway. Okay. Polish Frog says, do you think the Vest Streaks can replace Soul Goals? If we hit 25 Vests, can we get a special event? I mean, I'm not even thinking that far ahead. And to be realistic, I don't think the Vest Streak will last forever. I think this is a gimmick that's working right now. People really like it. I don't think this is going to last forever. I think it's something that is going to die out eventually. Okay. <clears throat> All right, let's assess this fossil. There we go. Is it a new one? It is. It can be but one thing. A T-Rex skull. A T-Rex skull, quite remarkable. If only I can take it off your hands. But we already have one, so I return it to your care. Oh, I can sell it. It's a T-Rex skull I can sell. Nice. So that's something else we could sell for money, hopefully. Oh, yeah? Once you have 8,000 Nook Miles, you can upgrade your inventory to have four slots, I'm being told. What's Chops doing here? <clears throat> hey, Phil. Have you heard? Our island's going to be hosting a special event sometime soon. First big to do on paw print. I won't bring up Woo very often, but this is Woo worthy. He's probably talking about uh, uh, Bunny Day, right? Probably. Uh, Derek, I already met the new traveler. It was a squirrel named Pecan who's setting up their house. Black Mage C-Type says, what if this vest streak does last forever? Am I okay with being vest side Phil? Sure, why not? I'm sure that's better than a million other things I could be, so yeah. V VSP it is. I'm changing to VSP. <laughs> oh my god. Hello, hello. Welcome to Nook's Cranny. Alright, we gotta set... What the... Why would I want this? The anatomical model. Those are limited supply. Active your ser Why would I want an anatomical? Why would I want that? <laughs> I guess you're opening like a doctor's office or a medical school in your house. What is this? 
a tatami bed. That actually looks pretty cool. I don't know what it is. It looks like it's made of like some kind of wood slats or something, right? Probably not very comfy, but it looks not. I like the look of it. What is this? Oh, it's a record box, like actual old school records, you know, LPs. Oh, that's nice. Okay. And what is this? An oil lamp? No, I don't want that. That's just dangerous. Imagine having that in that house with Jasper around. He knocks that shit over. That's the end of the house. No thanks. <clears throat> okay. I want to sell. What exactly are you offering? Here we go. That T-Rex skull, a loach, black bass, a crucian carp, a squid, another black bass, and the olive flounder. Let's see what he'll offer me. All right. 8,000... I might... Is this enough? This might be enough. Can you please come again? I might have enough to, to continue the construction. Let's find out. Let's see if we can do this. Good shit. We may have done it, folks. Let's find out. Yeah. Let's find out, guys. So that construction was across the way here, across the bridge. <clears throat> no, it was right here. Here we go. Good evening. Right now I'm taking donations. Yeah, I have enough. Sweet. Let's do it. I'll help. Boom. Derek says he had one of those anatomical models in his fifth grade classroom. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Let's do it all. No, wait. I said zero. I said zero. Shit. As much as possible. There you go. <clears throat> Here you go, have the donation. Because of you, we reached our goal. Next step, project completion. Great work, buddy. Yeah. All right, we reached our donation goal. Sweet. <laughs> oh my god. Fluttershy says there's a birthday party at the campsite too? Really? So if I head over there, there's another party going on? Good evening, buddy. This is the planned location for Suspension Bridge. We hit the, the bell's goal. I'll sit back and wait for the project completion. All right. He builds it by flailing his arms. Um, I don't see any other birthday party. So I'm not sure what you meant by that, Fluttershy. I've walked across the whole island. I have not seen any other birthday party taking place. Polish Frog says, why don't you go to the clothes shop and see if they have any vests? Oh my god. I should fish some more. <clears throat> he doesn't see it. What I should do now is talk to Tom Nook and see what Nook says the next objective is. Okay. There we go. Another egg. Yeah. Shut up. Oh, man. All right, let's, uh... Wait. There's a star fragment over there, huh? Yep. There's that star fragment. It looks different than the others. It's a different color. That's because it's an Aries fragment. It's not... An... Oh, so I'm understanding now. There's two kinds of fragments. There's generic star fragments, and then there's fragments that are themed to what the current zodiac symbol is. So right now, the zodiac symbol for right now in this, the time of the year is Aries. So you can get Aries fragments to do special customizations. That's really cool. <clears throat> Popsicola says you're supposed to act, is, ask Isabel to appraise your island. Okay. We can do that. Let's do that now. Let's talk to Isabel, have her appraise the island. Let's, we'll talk to Nook. Let's see what's going on on Paw Print. Let's see how it's going. Mm. Beatles says the campsite is that stage. We saw a stage. There was nothing over there at the stage, though. Here we go. Phil, good evening. Happy birthday. 
What? You didn't think I'd forget such a special occasion, did you? I've been hoping to run into you since I woke up this morning. Now then, how can I help you today? Change the island to change the island find discuss. Alright, let's talk island evals. <clears throat> I'm curious about the current state of image of paw print. Paw only has a one star rating. Folks are feeling like we still have room for improvement. Allow me to read an excerpt from the feedback that I gathered. <clears throat> It's a place I'm quietly watching. It's a secret to everyone. I don't want it to be famous. Here you have it. it. Seems like every piece of feedback we received is from the same holy. Well, I'm happy to hear they enjoyed themselves. We need more residents to get some word of mouth going about our island if we want a higher rating. We should focus on growing our population and gathering more varied feedback. If we want to increase the number of residents, we need to prepare land to sell. So that's what we did. We did one plot, and that's where, where Pecan is moving in. Yeah. So there you go. Basketball American took me another dollar. He says, did you, did you, what, what do you think the age limit is to go to the slide at Chuck E. Cheese? I don't even know. I don't know how big the slide is at Chuck E. Cheese. I haven't been there since I was a kid. And that was like the 1980s. So I don't think I'm qualified to answer that question. But thank you for apparently the $1,000 tip or $2,000 tip there. That was a dollar tip, Basketball American. Thank you for the tip. <clears throat> okay. Would I ever do a Sonic 06 Redemption run? I don't think there's much to redeem. The game's really broken. <laughs> All right. So I'm assuming Nook's just gonna tell me, build more houses and have more residents move in. So that's the key. Build more houses, have more residents move in. Once all the residents move in, then maybe the star rating will go up. Cause right now we have a bunch of residents but the star rating's only a one and I can't imagine why. It's not like this, the island sucks. There's a lot going on on the island, right? Hello, hello, this is the construction consultation counter. What should I do? We're on the last part of Project K, the grand plan to hold a KK concert on the island. We raise the image of the island and get some excellent word of mouth PR. I'll make a proposal to KK about holding a concert. Can you help on improving the island's image chat with Isabel? Alright, so there you go. I mean, we're doing all we can. She says get more residents. We're working on getting Pecan moved in. Then I'm assuming we can build another, uh, another house. I guess I've done all I really can, right? All right. Popsicola says your island is pretty underdeveloped, to be honest. What do you mean by that exactly, Popsicola? Do you have suggestions of things that would be considered better development? If you have suggestions, by all means, please let me know. Okay. Shit. <laughs> it turned around. There we go. Okay. Whoa, another crawfish. I caught one last time too. Yep. Go to Tom and talk about selling land. So I gotta talk to Tom again and talk about that infrastructure quote thing. Make another plot, plant flowers, pull weeds with decorations outside like the ones you can get from the Nook Miles machine. <clears throat> okay. Infrastructure. Let's chat. There's a number of things we can discuss, but what did you have in mind? Let's sell some land. I'll propel some land for a future home. I have to charge a small fee of 10,000 bells. Alright, so I need to... Let's, yeah, let's find another thing. I don't have the bells. Yep. So I need to raise 10,000 bells, and then I can build a new plot of land. Okay. Let's see what's available in the Nook Miles machine while we're in here. <clears throat> shopping right but you need bells for this stuff maybe I can redeem nook miles yeah maybe hold on redeem nook miles because I have not almost 8,000 um oh excuse me 
Oh, <laughs> so we have two, two different kinds of fences. I like the Zen fence, actually. It looks nice. A stone tablet. Destination signpost. Maybe I'll buy that. That looks kind of nice. A wave breaker. Brick well. A simple well. A stall. Stone arch. A silo. The robot hero. A construction sign. A lifeguard's chair. A portable toilet. A Some of this is pretty nice. All right, I think... Oh, man, it's a lot of stuff. I want to buy... All right, I know this is going to be a lot of Nook Miles, but I'm hoping this will pay off if I get a lighthouse and I build a lighthouse down by the water. Maybe this will give us a huge ratings increase. I'm going to try this. I want a lighthouse. All right. They're mailing it to my home. Wait a minute, that means I don't get it now? Oh, really? I don't get it now? I wanted to go set it up now. Really? Oh, man. Well, I'm definitely gonna have to tell Cat about this and say, hey, in a day or two, expect in my mailbox a lighthouse to show up. So I can go set, <laughs> we can go set it up. That really stinks. All right, so I need to raise another 10,000 bells. Um, by the way, guys, I'm only streaming for about another 20 to 25 minutes. I have to see how many bells I can raise in that amount of time. If I can raise another 10,000, then I can buy another plot of land. So we can have another villager move in, right? Sambuca2020 just did a 100 bit cheer. Says, whoa, dude, double hat day. Happy birthday. Thank you very much, Sambuca. Yeah, it was a very good uh, day. Not only for fun and positive streams, but obviously contributions were off the charts today. So thank you, everyone who did contribute today. I appreciate it very much. And, uh, yeah, double hat day. Thank you, Sambuca. There we go. I couldn't see it, but I got him anyway. Thank you, Sambuca, for that. Another egg. Oh, man. Welcome to Snap City. He says, why don't I buy Nook travel tickets to explore other islands? I have uh, many streams ago, and Kat actually does that a lot. Kat told me that she does explore other islands quite a lot. Sadly, a lot of the times they end up being kind of boring or islands that don't have a lot on them. So it doesn't really pay off. But once she went to an island, it was like all Emperor Butterfly. So, so, ah, Shit. there we go, gotta hope for some big fish to sell, it'll be worth a lot of money, come on, more, dude, this is ridiculous, it's all eggs, and with these eggs, I can't sell them. I need to make money, and I can't make money because it's all eggs. Everything I do is an egg, right? That's frustrating. There's no, there doesn't appear to be any bugs anywhere. Okay. Oh my what? god! This is just crazy. Really? Popsicolo says, I missed a super valuable moth that was sitting on a tree behind... Oh my god! Look at the size of that fucking thing! Holy shit! That thing is huge! Alright, I'm going for it. That thing's giant! No! Fucking shit! That sucked. I hope it comes back, man. I hope it comes back. Oh, no! Oh! Oh! <laughs> Ultimate fail! Ultimate fail! Damn, I suck. Oh. oh, it's a clownfish. Clownfish are cool. Those are like an emo. Well, 
I don't think that moth is coming back. I think that rare moth is gone, and I'm not going to get the ginormous money that I would have gotten by catching it. This fucking sucks. <clears throat> I don't play enough to be good at doing this stuff. I only play this twice a week, so I'm like a, a noob at all this, right? I'm no good. <clears throat> Alright, you know what? If that moth was on that tree... Then I'm going to guess that maybe if I head up, up north here... Fuck. Maybe I can find another one of them? Because I don't think there would only be one. Maybe there would be more? I don't know. I don't know. Beetle says, why don't you check your, 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 your bank at the terminal? Dude, there's no money in there. Cat has been playing actively and spending the money to do projects. There's no money just sitting in the bank for no reason, Beatles. You're probably thinking of the money I put into the bank the first stream ever. That was like weeks ago. That's totally not in there anymore. <clears throat> okay. Oh, Sam said to me $1.30 and he says, ask the shop what the hot item is. It, it pays double the amount of bells. Okay. It doesn't mean that I'm going to have it, but I guess I can ask. Okay. Oops. Another loach that's worth, like, absolutely nothing. Okay. Ugh! <sighs> what is the item of the day? We're off. What's hot today? A wooden mini table? Oh, I don't have that. I don't think I have that. No. Okay. Ooh, excuse me. Uh, Popsicolo says, here's the thought. Maybe you should grow a cherry orchard because those were not native to my island. And therefore, those fruits that aren't native to your island are worth five times more. Actually, the coconuts aren't either. Remember, I brought... Didn't I bring both a coconut and a cherry over from another island and then plant it? I'm almost positive I did. Remember, I planted these coconut trees myself. So maybe that's an idea. Let's try to sell the coconuts, too. There goes the bells. It's 9 o'clock. I like that the bell goes off on the hour. That's pretty cool. Oh, big up, big in. That is a sea bass. No, wait, this is a C plus. <laughs> Coolito to me, dollar says, why do you think the number seven has been associated with me since birth? It hasn't. I have no idea what you're talking about. But thank you, Coolito, for the dollar tip anyway. Okay. <clears throat> what is cat star sign? I have no idea. I actually don't know much about star signs at all. So I wouldn't even know, know that answer. Another big fish, supposedly. Oh, come on. Oh, yeah, it's another one of these biggins. An olive flounder. It's the second one of the night. Very nice. I know you can redeem Nook, Nook Miles to get bells, but that's an awful idea, Athena Love. Nook Miles are probably much better used for upgrades and other valuable rare things. Why would you just use it just to get a few bells? That's kind of silly when you could just kind of grind to get bells yourself, you know what I mean? <clears throat> Let me sell all these coconuts. There you go. You didn't see it? Ah, oh, shit. Oh, here we go. No? He seriously can't see that. There he goes. Polish Frogs to be $2. Says, you feel that your fans get lazy after you reach your tips goal? No. Absolutely not. Once you hit a goal, people are, like, excited. And then, you know, it, that's the thing. When you have a goal, people want to reach it. They feel accomplishment by working together. Like a crowdfunding deal when they reach it. Once you hit it, yeah, you're not going to get as much motivation to get people... To, to contribute again. And I'm okay with that. If someone still wants to contribute tonight, great. Please, by all means, do. That's amazing. 
I appreciate every single contribution. I really do. But I'm not going to sit here and harp on it and be like, guys, there were no contributions in the last 10 minutes. That's ridiculous. That's that's what a completely ungrateful jerk does. And I'm not going to do that. Okay. Um. Here we go. Let's update that leaderboard. Here we go. Uh, yeah, here we go. Sam said to me another dollar thirty. He says the hot shop item can be crafted. You can craft a bunch if you have enough wood of the mirror. All right. Well, I don't. Oh shit. I think we're at the two hundred six. No, two hundred seven. Because we're at two hundred six. I think. I've lost track now. All right. Thanks, Samson. I, the thing is, you guys are telling me so much. I really don't feel like going crafting a million things. I don't. You know what I mean? I'm just relaxing. I'm relaxing. I'm playing for about twenty more minutes. I'm just gonna relax. Do a little bit of fishing. Uh, if I find that rare moth again or whatever. In fact, what I'm gonna do? Let's head further north. And just do some relaxing stuff to end the stream. We've already done a ton. We had a birthday celebration. We built a bridge, right? Or we funded a bridge. So let's just relax a little bit more. I know you guys are like desperate to all give me tips to advance like super fast, but <clears throat> I don't really feel like doing 90% of the stuff you guys are telling me to do, so. Thank you, Kate. She's a nice cowboy. Hat. Oh my god. Finally, got his attention. Oh shit. <laughs> All that, and then I wasn't paying attention because I looked at the stream chat, and then I lost the fish. Alright, let's go further up. <clears throat> what the? I'm holding left. Polish frog cheers. So what happened to you blowing your form after every $10 tip? Uh, I'll be honest, I just forgot. See, the thing is, the streams are so fast moving. We have a lot of fun conversation and everything that I don't really have time to focus on doing a million things around every single contribution, especially these past couple of days. Contributions have been so good that it's like, I, I got to concentrate on people playing the game because half the time I get distracted from even playing the games, you know? So, yeah, it would have been nice if every time there was a contribution, I remembered. I was like, oh, thanks, everyone. But I forgot. And it's not that big of a deal. It's just not. It's not a big deal. So. <clears throat> okay. Well, I see no bugs at all. Oh, there was a bug and I ran right through it. Oops. I didn't even see it. No, no fish in this here. There we go. I don't see any bugs. Whoa, wow. I thought maybe I would catch some bugs tonight, but I guess not. That's that, yeah, that's the, the, the man-faced stink beetle or whatever it's called, and it's not worth much at all. It's pretty shitty, so I'm not going to bother with it. Another fossil. Derek says this is now his favorite chill night stream uh, game that I'm playing. <clears throat> well, if you remember, Derek, it used to be Pokemon, but, you know, that's on hold now till June. Oh, fucking shit. That was another bug I didn't see. God damn it. There are bugs, but I'm not seeing them, and I'm scaring them away. Shit. No, not seeing any bugs. How old am I? I am 38 years old today. <clears throat> wow. Jasper Prince of Darkness sent me a dollar. Says, at a tier three tips goal, can I inflate a raft to sit on my couch? And then at a level four tips goal, can I put on a pirate eye patch? No. Thank you for the dollar tip, though. Okay. Aha. Yes, I hear the package. I don't really care. <laughs> it's probably just going to be a sky egg anyway. Okay. Am I old enough to not get ID'd when I buy alcohol? I haven't been ID'd when I, since I bought alcohol in like a million years. You know, it's probably about the age when 
half of the, 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 the hairs in your beard are white, that they realize that you're kind of old and you don't need to be carded anymore. I'm just saying. <laughs> okay. By the way, hello, Bishop of Mercy. Good evening. It's good to see you today, man. How you doing? Oh, shit. I missed. This is going to be a tough one. It's a shallow pond. Like, it's real small. I didn't want to turn around again. Oh, this sucks. There's no way I could get it to land there. <clears throat> there we go. It's a tricky one. Okay. That is a car, regular carp. Different from the other car, but still a car. Oh, uh, that's right, remember? Yeah, Derek, I remember you could do songs in Tomagotchi like with your Islanders. That's right. Popsicola says you do not need to be flush with the edge of the pond if you still need more space. Yeah, trying to learn stuff. Oh, thank you, Bishop of Mercy. He says, I uh, hope your birthday has been great. Sorry I missed most of it. Glad the streams went so well. They did. The streams were great. The streams were fun. Even though I was, I was raging a little bit in Resident Evil 3 earlier today, I mean, that's what you expect when you're playing a game on hardcore. I still had good progress. We had a lot of fun. Tonight has been a very nice, relaxing birthday stream. So, you know, support has been outstanding today. Zero complaints. <clears throat> All right. Claire Redfield took me $5 and insulted me, saying that I'm 55 years old cosplaying uh, and playing a kid's game. Sounds to more like you're just a dumb fucking idiot. So thanks for the 14... Or, excuse me. Thank you for the $5 tip, you dumb fucking idiot. Appreciate that, stupid. Okay. That's right, of course... No, no one could actually play a relaxing game. That's considered a kid's game, right? Because it's relaxing. It doesn't have super hardcore challenge to it. All right. Dunce. Ah. There's like no angle right now to get it because it's right in the middle. There we go. Oh, right away. What is that? Oh, another tadpole. I had those before. Itty bitty tadpole, right? Oh, what? My inventory's full again? I don't think the tadpole's worth much. All right. Well, we'll drop it. And we got two fossils, and we can sell a bunch of fish again. We are coming to the end of tonight's stream, by the way, guys. Probably about 10 minutes if that left, so. <clears throat> yeah, I know Zelda Minis. Yeah, people come by to insult you on your birthday. They have no shame. Yeah, they have no brain. No, they have no shame. They have no fucking brain. What idiot would come by the stream and say stupid shit on my birthday? It was their dunce. Yeah, again, they have no brain in their head. They think that that's fucking like entertaining or something. And <laughs> then they all laugh at themselves. <laughs> Look at this, I get tension up the stream. <laughs> Bunch of fucking cavemen slapping each other's asses. Dumb fucks. That's the level of, of uh, intelligence I have to put up with. All right, two fossils. Blueberry to me, oh no, blueberry, excuse me, to me $1.30 says, if you were a villager in, in uh, Animal Crossing, what sort would you be? What would your phrase be? Have you noticed there's been different ones like, like hra hra or, you know, they, they all have different catchphrases. That's kind of interesting. Mine would be Excelsior. There you go. What would I be? I'd be a crocodile. I don't know. Talking out of my ass. Well, uh, Basketball America tipped me four dollars twenty cents. <laughs> says someone says they're a half black brother. Who knows? At this point, with the way my life has gone, who knows? Maybe I have a half black brother. I wouldn't know. I have no idea. Okay. Might be something with it. I can assist you. Let's assess these fossils. <clears throat> Here we go. Oh man. All right, let's take a look. They're rare fossils, and they're not in the collection. Cool. <clears throat> he wants me to donate them. Okay. Yeah, let's uh, let's make a donation of these two fossils. We've got the T Rex torso and a. Acanthostega. <laughs> Alright, let's do it. 
I wonder if this is more uh more completed now. More dinosaurs completed. I'll take a look quick. That's it for tonight. Oh yeah, look. Ah. All right. Get fossils assessed. Got it. To. And that is it. All right. I just want to see if any new dinosaur skeletons are completed. Then we'll sell these fish and that'll be it for our stream tonight, guys. Thank you for hanging out with me. Everyone who was here live or if you watched on YouTube, this has been a very relaxing and fun stream. And I, I thank you guys for allowing me to have a chill day here on my birthday with all of you. This was really cool. <clears throat> so, we got the T... Oh, that's, the, that's not the T-Rex. That's one of the big four-legged ones. This one, we've got everything but the head. Yeah, look. A giant body, but no head and no tail, I think. Yeah. The Brachiosaurus. Wait, we finished the T-Rex. I think we finished the T-Rex. Yeah, look. How do I do this? Spinosaurus. The T-Rex is complete, dude. That looks awesome. That's sick, dude. Very nice. All right. Um. Someone named <laughs> Mighty Devin Crisnell took me a dollar and says, "You're feeling optimistic about your future." I mean, why wouldn't I? Why wouldn't I feel optimistic about my future? You have to feel optimistic. You have to be positive. You have to think that, you know, things are going to get better and that there's a light at the end of the tunnel and that you know anything that you're you're suffering through or that you're you're stressed out about is going to eventually turn out positively, right? Like you have to do that in life. There's the stegosaurus. Anglosaurus is not even close. All it has is a tail. <clears throat> so the T-Rex is done. I think we only have two done. The T-Rex and that other one. The Packy, right? Those are the two. Bishop of Mercy now took me $60. Holy crap, Bishop of Mercy. Thank you so much. He says, happy birthday. I'm only able to catch a minute of your earlier stream. I'm so happy to see the support of the community today. The festival continues. That's correct. Hope the street goes on for a long time. Keep it up. By the way, how was the cake? What kind? Here it is. I, I was full. I couldn't finish it. Chocolate cake with custom made uh, peanut butter frosting and peanut butter cups on top. And it was made from scratch, meaning the, both the cake and the frosting were made by my wife from ingredients. It wasn't like a, a store-bought cake or anything like that. It's damn good. Thank you very much, uh, Bishop of Mercy. Let me get you up on the leaderboard, even though we're only here for a few more minutes. I appreciate that very much. <clears throat> okay. Nah, equilibrium, equilibrium, I'm full. I'm not hungry. I don't want to finish the cake. I'm actually full. It's really freaking good. It's really good. All right, why are people saying $3,000? I didn't type $3,000 on the screen. What are you talking about? I didn't type that. <laughs> All right. Yes, Derek, after tonight, the birthday decorations come down. When we come back on Wednesday, it'll be uh, no more birthday fun. We had all week, so it was good, but, you know, got to gotta cut that off. Can't have a birthday every day or else the birthday wouldn't be special, right? <laughs> okay. Let's sell. Let's sell. All right, we're going to sell the crawfish. We're going to sell the clownfish, the loach, another loach, a dab, an olive flounder, a sea bass, another loach, and another cart. Definitely not going to be enough for 10,000 bucks. What about 4,000 bells? That's not bad, all things considered. All right. Ooh. Oh, excuse me. Oh, excuse me. All right, Derek, he said, I want to thank you for a great Animal Crossing birthday bash stream. It was awesome being here. It was awesome hanging with you and with everybody. Thank you, Derek. All right, I think this is going to adjourn the stream. Let's head back to the house. Let's hit the bed. Save up. I'll let Kat know that there is going to be, number one, birthday cupcakes headed her way. And number two, a lighthouse coming to my inbox at some point this week. So she's going to want to definitely put the lighthouse up considering I spent 5,000 goddamn nook miles on it. I didn't know that's how it worked. <clears throat> All right, again. 
To those watching live on stream and also those watching this on demand on YouTube afterward, I would like to say thank you guys for a really fun birthday bash. Uh, Animal Crossing stream. It was super relaxing and fun. And uh, thanks again for hanging out. Thanks to everyone who contributed. Uh, let's save up. Now, as I said, I will be playing this two more times before the end of Bunny Day. I'll be playing it once later this week on Thursday, which would be April 9th. And then I'll actually play it actually on Bunny Day, Sunday the 12th. So we'll actually see on Bunny Day what's happening on Bunny Day. You know, are there special festivities? What's going on? We'll see. It's going to be a cool holiday celebration on that day. So good stuff. Okay, guys? All right. So that is it for Animal Crossing. I hope that you guys had fun with the birthday celebration. Again, thank you everyone who contributed. Thank you everyone who just hung out with me. I appreciate it. And I will see you next time for Animal Crossing. Peace out. Later.